we start our construction for the layout. And this board is done, and that was done previously. The first thing we're going to have to do is get all the electrics in place. Um, we're laying the track, obviously, but we need to lay points, get the electrics in place for the point motors, and more importantly, the power for the track on the layout. The layout is going to be DCC powered, and it is going to have one small section which we can switch to DC so that we can test um, you know, new locals we buy before we put a chip in them and stuff. We'll have some way to run them. Um, so we're going to jump back in time now a little bit, go back to starting the control panel. Now what I want to do in a bit more detail, I had a chunk of MDF lying around. I managed to uh, fit all the shapes and various bits and pieces that I need onto it. Um, I did it on the second go, because <laughs> the first time uh, I would have ended up with weird pieces of wood. So measure twice, cut once, definitely applies here. So let's get cutting. So here we are. All the bits cut out. Let's kind of glue and screw them together now. So here we are at the moment. It's all glued, fitted together, and screwed in. Had a few mishaps with the acrylic, but I'm only learning. So, well, this is going to be the um, the switchboard for all the point switches and stuff. And I have to start drilling holes through acrylic, which is always fun. I'll do that tomorrow. Though. Well, we're getting there. Must admit, I had my doubts. I thought the thing might be too heavy, but it seemed to have um, seems to have screwed in, and it's nice and sturdy. I have the Perspex control panel ready for this point, so I'll put it on a little while. A few of my plans went a bit haywire, didn't work out. I had to adapt and all that, but uh, it's all part of the fun. Here we go, all installed, tidied up. I put in extra screws for support even though it was fairly strong to begin with, and drilled holes for all the wires, and drilled extra holes, may never need them, but good to have them done now. Um, had a few adventures with this Perspex, or like acrylic, uh, with the Unibond not sticking on the last one, and um, cracking bits of it. So we'll see how this goes. It's on its last chance now. If it doesn't work this time, I'll just replace it with MDF. I have put in a little magnetic catch up here, just to hold it. Uh, which is working pretty well and we'll start doing all the switches. I assume I don't crack the thing in half when I'm trying to drill holes through all the point switches and everything so that's for another day. Um, it's nice and solid as well, it's not going anywhere anytime soon so controllers and stuff will go in here, a bit of programming track in here, switches, uh, point motor switches and LEDs and all that for the control panel there so and it's room for expansion and stuff as well which I'm pretty happy with so cool, good day's work. <laughs> 